This is the story of living simply Why don't you come along with us and sing along the way If you had a baby group that you used to sing with Try and imagine you can still hear them now Hi, I'm Gigi and welcome to my cucina. We had a choice to just pick one type of cuisine or food style. It would be for me Mediterranean as an Italian. But one great thing about living in America is you have so many different people from so many different countries all living here and bringing their beautiful food with them. So we're able to try some things that we may not have even thought of. And I really like cooking different styles of food. So I take advantage of that when we're here. Now I got those mangoes. So today we're gonna to make a mango salsa and we're gonna make shrimp fajitas. So I hope you enjoy. So our friends brought us these beautiful mangoes. We missed mango season from our trees, but what a beautiful gift. So I'm gonna make some mango salsa. Okay, so our ingredients are of course these mangoes. You want them to be a little bit firm still but um, these are at different stages, so I'm just gonna use what I have. And then we have some tomatoes, we have some different colored peppers, we have some garlic, limes. These are spicier peppers that I wanted to try. And then we do have a roasted jalapeno already. And what we are gonna do is roast all of these vegetables because we wanna get a char. So let's get started on the grill. Free. Yes. I tried the grill. Yes. Uh, um, it's a learning experience. Yes, it is. <laughs> Grilling is a whole thing of its own. Yeah. But we got such great mangoes that yes. I made this mango salsa. Yes, you did. And these are our shrimp fajitas. So we have the salsa for that. And then we have the fried vegetables, the shrimp, and the tortilla. So tell me what you think. We're about to find out. Okay. Bon appetito. Thank you. Okay, Jeffrey, how do you like your shrimp fajitas? Outstanding. Really? Went to the trouble of grilling the fajitas and the shrimp and the, the various, the mango salsa that you made with the ingredients, the onions, the bread peppers, the, uh, the uh, corn and uh, the lettuce and the Mexican cheese. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a plethora of of uh, flavors it's good. just yeah it just kind of explodes in your mouth it's really good it wasn't quite spicy enough for me so no. i thought we could add some jalapenos sure. and some green chilies yeah nothing wrong with a little heat no we like it yeah, okay <laughs> bon appetito Grazie mille. <laughs> so i know it's uh, our afternoon rains that we get yes. here in florida and you were nice enough to buy me this gorgeous stainless steel work surface that I absolutely love and it will definitely fit the bill for me. Yeah. Well, Thank that, you. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's a good one. That's a restaurant quality from a restaurant uh, supplier. Right. It's got the right 304 stainless top on it. It's antiseptic and easy to clean and non-rusting and all oh, that good oh, stuff. Thunder. And it's all stainless steel. And yeah. Every fixture on it is stainless steel. No plastic feet. Stainless steel. Right. Restaurant quality. Good stuff. Yeah, costs a little bit more, but it's well worth it. Yeah, it'll and last. Nothing can be too expensive for my princess. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> After all, I get to eat all the fruits of your labor, so no complaints here. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> you buy me good stuff, I'll cook it for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's never been a problem, huh? <laughs> no. Oh, so we've been 
adjusting and making new additions, so we're, we're getting there, piano, piano, little by little. Yes. All right. Thanks so much. Ciao, ciao. Tune in each week for new adventures of Living Simply <laughs> with Jeff and Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> ciao for now. Ciao, ciao.